Hey YouTube, Chef Third Eyes O here. Thanks for joining me once again for another mukbang. Today, I hope you're staying medicated and let's go over a couple of YouTube channel rules for this channel so that we can all be happy and have some great content, have some great responses. All I ask is respect. You know, it takes time to make the content. I want to be more frequent. I want to get you guys feedback, subscribers, so that we can go and show the world what it is to infuse great food and to be able to stay medicated while you eat. In saying so, I want to give a quick shout out to a couple of things. First, my hoodie, which I made with Zobo Fashions. It's called Self Made, and it also has a statement on the back from Killamonger and Black Panther movie. But also, more importantly, Trayvon Martin is in memory because all February we're respecting his legacy. Rest in peace Trayvon, sorry for your loss to his parents and we will continue to hold him in our memories as somebody we lost way too soon. Getting Moving forward, we are getting ready to get into this crab oil. I want you to be on the positive uplifted side. We have to give our, you know, um, messages and we have to keep it simple but it's time now for a good mukbang let's talk about some topics from who I am where I came from in the sense of business now and then education now and then and I'm gonna keep it quick because I've talked about these topics before on other forums so up close and personal oh yeah you ready let's eat let's talk hey, two we are back to this crab oil. You've seen what we're going to get into and I'm definitely about to take the first bite. And before I do, shout out to Be Love. She has a great channel and is giving everybody love on this seasoning in this actual crab oil sauce. So, got it from her, add a little this, that, and you know, of course, the butter, you get it from me. But either way, let's get into this. Let's have some conversation and, um, let me take the first bite. Let's see. So, of course, I got the sauce right here, right? That I had the sauce. But guess what I need to do first with my greedy self? I need to put on these damn gloves because um, sauce ain't no joke. I'm going to wipe my hands right quick. I didn't put everything down on the table so I can just grab it. And of course, I done made a mess. And it's going to be like butter on the floor, but hey, that's what you call cleaning. Um, have up after yourself. You got to clean up after yourself. So, got these gloves on. About to go to surgery on this crap on for Wendy. So, as I was saying, you got to pick it up. You know what I'm saying? You got to dip it in the sauce. Alright? You heard me. Now I'm going to put it back down. I can tell you one thing. I'm not going to let this butter sit like that. I'm going to have to eat it when it's hot because it settles because you got so much seasoning in it. But at the end of the day, it's all worth it. Now, I don't know why I took that shell off, but I'm going to make it right. Mmm. Wow. That sauce is spicy. Woo. Mmm. That is definitely, definitely hitting. And I told you I like the corn, so you know, I'm definitely gonna have some of this corn right quick. Let's on how. Oh, oh. Don't ask me to do a mud thing. I will. Mm mm mm. And thanks to those who started subscribing. I watched the first one. That's what it's all about. Growing your audience and being able to expand and give knowledge to people on whatever topic you're talking about. So, thank you for that. Now, um, we guess we can get started on, you know, today's topic, which is good old Chef Zoe to an extent. But I want to talk about some things that affect me. Bam. You know, where I've been, where I'm going. Mmm. 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 
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I don't even want to really talk too much. <laughs> It'll be one thing about these month names, I'm telling you, boy. But let's get started. So I've been into researching and knowing honestly about marijuana from a kid. I'm going to tell you why. My stepdad but always listen to Bob Marley on most of the day that we would clean the house like Saturdays and Sundays and stuff so so I listen to Bob Bob talking about ganja I don't know what ganja is so I'm asking people there wasn't no internet around that time you know yeah I'm gonna take my age I'm not ashamed to say it thank God the cannabis and other holistic care I am 42 be comfortable with that. So some things I may think old, and some things I may think um, young. I don't know. It just depends. But we have to learn together, grow together. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. And don't forget, this is the CBD infused bud. So by the time this month bang is over with, trust me. <laughs> You're gonna definitely know I'm feeling it. Mm, 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 mm. Just now, I'm gonna need more than a pair of gloves for this, for taking on this crab boy, but I don't mind not one bit. And I also let it sit for a second, like I said, messing with this dog on camera, but knowledge is power. And next time, when you know better, you do what? Better. Oh, mm mm mm. Mm mm. Mm hmm. So, I started listening about Marlon. Hearing yeah, about the Buffalo Soldier, you know, the Dungeon Farmer, and, um, peace and righteousness and that's honestly where my earliest consciousness came from which hints towards the name Chef Third Eye Zoe if anybody knows your third eye is that eye of knowledge that eye that has been open or has been open but she you know not necessarily to tell all, but definitely to see all. So, hmm. Third Eye Zoe was born from my love for consciousness, my love to learn, research, and get to the source of information instead of letting somebody tell me something. And that too came from an early age, just always having, first of all, <laughs> if you haven't um, had a friend you don't know or you're not yourself been exposed to as a child you don't know African mama <laughs> and an African mama love her to death but you can never do good enough you can do good, you can do great but it's always something more you can do African parents in general, and I'm from West Africa, Liberia to be exact. If you knew, great. If you didn't, there it is. Mm, 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 mm. So, in saying that, I'm mad about my lobster a little bit because, like I said, once it dried, I mean, it got cooler. Oh, let me let me dip it. What am I doing? What am I doing? I gotta get it together in here with this crab ball. This shit here is jumping. Woo! That butter is off the chain. Listen to that. Listen to that. Mm hmm. Gotta open some things up in here. What? I'm telling you. Wow. Mm hmm. Mm -mm. Yes. 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 I can absolutely not wait to put this in my mouth. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
5 stock 2020 though. And if I'm in the camera too much, trust me, we'll adjust the next time. My camera's got a wide do and this thing is kind of at a distance, but I'm working some time now. You know, them red potatoes. Mm hmm. Mmm. Y'all, when I tell you, shit, that um, Old Bay Hot, I can tell it made a difference. I really can. So, as I grew up, gained knowledge, fell in love with the sport of basketball, I was like, yo, I was going to play ball. Like, I was going to play ball. I was going to go to the WNBA, all of that. But, guess what happened? I caught myself being young in love. Y'all know how that shit goes. Either it works out or it doesn't. And, um, you know, I'm not here to bash anybody. Teach his own. But, it didn't. And I'm good. I'm better off for it. But, um, relationship wise, that's always been a challenge for me. In the sense of, I always wanted to give my all. And some people just not ready to receive it. Not to say that I've not been part of the issue in a relationship, just trust me, I'm not perfect. But I would say when I didn't know and didn't understand my mental health, that definitely was um, playing a part, not just in love interest relationships, but just relationships in general. And as I learned to cope, as I learned to make therapy a part of my healing process and understanding that I didn't have to just go one or two times. I could continuously go when I felt the need, blah, blah, blah. And uh, therapy has really been awesome. Shout out to my therapist, Billy, with the VA. He's awesome. He always says, well, so you did the work, but shit, somebody had to help me through that process now, didn't they? And this lobster, man, I took through perfectly. It was, I took it. Um, cause it's not, even though it looks dry, cause I had it sitting, it's not dry, it's just still juicy. And it's holding its own, bro. But, I put it in at 15 minutes. And that's a shout out to Gem Seafood. <laughs> I got this for $8.99 on Lobster Town. Maybe I'm telling you too many of my secrets. <laughs> it's all good. Support a good thing. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And see one thing about a crab roll, a lot of people say I don't like to eat crabs and stuff because that you don't get a lot of meat. But I'm sorry, that lobster, the corn, damn potatoes, and as you can see, I don't have nothing but seafood and vegetables. No sausage, no, no red meat, none of that. Mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. Jesus. And the amount of sauce I made, I was able to store some. So, that's a good thing. Now, something else. I don't know why I keep taking these shells off this, um, Seafood instead of just sucking the juice, it's like, mm. like that. But, um, love and relationships, you have to work on them constantly. People change, you're gonna change. You can't want somebody to go all out so you remain the same because of course if you don't grow together you're going to grow apart and if you feel you do everything right there's no compromise and how can you be with someone else and not compromise two different opinions mm -hmm. right 
Parmesan Coke. Two people never think the exact same. But it's great when you can get in sync and get on that same page. Like I said, I'm not here to bash anybody. I think a lot of times in relationships, people don't address mental health issues and they're in. And some people don't even know they have mental health issues. They just do some real fucked up shit or are not willing to admit it. And it's a pattern. And instead of you know, seeing it for what it is, they in denial. Everybody else plays. It's everybody else's fault. But trust me, at some point, if you don't see the error in your ways, you're going to be by yourself. I mean, totally alone because people are going to stop trying to reason with you and make you understand. And that's not what you want in your life. But moving on, friendship. Ooh, I taste the onions in that. That's really good. Because I put the onions in the garlic and. Even though I put the sauces, then I put the um, actual onions in the garlic. Oh, by putting those vegetables in there, and not just the seasoning, it just, oh, it, it comes together, trust me. <coughs> talking about relationships, let's talk about friendships, huh? Let's talk about it. And now again, in this form, I'm not going to use people's names unless they say it's okay. Um, and I'm not going to try to bash anyone. I'm just going to try to be as honest as possible from my perspective. So, Yes, Lord Jesus. And don't worry, I'm gonna spit on my food. I got the side from my trash. Well, this is all my layout. <laughs> I got more than enough room. Mm, 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 mm. So, friendship. I have these two friends. One, we have been friends a fairly long time. Well, shit. I take that back, both of them. We have been friends a fairly long time. So, Throughout our friendship, one of them, you know, I go see her, make her, anytime like I'm in the city or, you know, we young and we kick it, I make sure I check her out, go check for her. But it was never returned. And Lord, it wasn't always returned, let me say that. Don't let her be in a relationship, Lord Jesus. Don't let it. Let's need all systems down, can't get on the phone, can't get her to open the door, you know, and I don't know, to be honest, I don't like a friend like that, I don't know to each his own, but if you're my friend, you're my friend regardless of who you're dealing with, what you're going through, I got you, you know, whatever you need, hit me, and we'll work through it, but in words time, John, Sue, Cat, and Jimmy come along, you can't fuck with me right now. You know, I should get old. And I don't deserve that. What did I do as a friend to be put aside because you're in a relationship? Why not? Let's all link up, get to know each other. Because I'm an extension of you. You're an extension of me. And, um, you know, that way your partner can feel comfortable with whom you're going out with, who you're spending your time with outside of them. I know that you're good in these streets because, you know, these streets crazy. But, I don't know. That right there, that got old. And then, it'd be like, we talk about goals and stuff. And I'm the type of friend, if there's any way I can help you, like, resources-wise, and even if I don't have them, I'm going to look. I don't like giving false information. And even if I do in any case, if I find out it is not the correct information, I will inform, you know. So, in the sense of saying that, like, I'm giving her all the dang on keys to the vault down there. Or how to go about getting them. But, 
She just talked to me to death. She's not trying to do nothing. And that in itself, like, friendship, relationship, if somebody moving forward and you're just in the same place, it's not going to work. So I had to let that shit go. Mm. Easier said than done, because I didn't want to. I assume after I opened up and finally said that, hey, you know, I feel like don't appreciate me as a friend and this is the reason why. I never even got a call back, you hear me? <laughs> so, keep your feelings to yourself. When you want to um, have a fake friend, you know, you got to see who you're dealing with for real. Because when you come to a friend who ain't self-indulged or who cares, gives a fuck about you, just like in a relationship, somebody give a fuck about you, there's things they're not even attempting to do, you hear me? Because they have that much respect for you. If somebody don't respect you, you'll see. You'll know. It won't be too hard to tell. Then my other friend. Mm, 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 mm. And both of these um, friends, I can say, I love them like a sister. We've shared a lot between each other and, you know, from trips to hangouts, so I miss them, I do, but I can't not look at what the issues are and pretend when, again, someone's not willing to admit it. But my other friend, that same gonna do something, never actually do it. I'm a person of my word, I'm active. If I can do something, I'm gonna do it. If I can't, I'm gonna let you know. Like, I'm not gonna sit up here. Because life is precious. And um, that'll be on a whole nother YouTube uh, channel um, live coming up on Sunday. But life is precious, and you gotta take every day for what it is. You know, like it's your last. Treat people like you want them to treat you. And I'm truly learning. Some people don't like me right now because I'm treating them like they treat me, you know? Ain't it funny how that shit turns out? But that's what you got to do. Either they're going to respect you or they're going to leave the fuck alone, right? One of the two going to happen, trust me. Oh. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I swear. I'm trying to kill this shit, but damn. Oh, well. Why do I matter? I might as well break into a crab or two. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. I might have to do that in slow-mo. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Be mindful of who you call your friend. Who you letting your life. And another friend type that I had to get rid of was enablers. People who enable me to do the wrong shit, but because they love me so much, they don't never speak bad when we allow me to make fucked up decisions. And honestly, it's good to have a ride or die, but a ride or die gonna tell you when enough is enough. When you need to cut the shit out, you know? All that good shit. Go ride and die, not gonna just have you in there. And I don't never need no um, uh, crab cutters and all of that stuff. Trust me, between being from Liberia and loving seafood all my damn life, I can snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> mm. That stuff's going everywhere. I'm a fool right now. Everything gonna have to be washed. Fuck a bit. You know what I'm saying? It's crab boy. Shit. stuff at was I thought I had a turkey bag to put the crab in so you know the boil in so it can stay steamed and I can eat it and then pour the stuff in the bag that box was empty <laughs> my little feelings was hurt and I was like damn I could have gone to the store but you know you get to cooking you got a million things going on fucking with lights camera action and shit and I know my mouth look a hot mess. 
I'm just running it. But you get to talking and then and one thing leads to the next. And that shit don't get done. And you don't have no bags. And when you don't have no bags, you can't put it in the bag. So I think I've said enough about friendship, you know. Oh, except that I am a loyal friend. I don't just allow everybody to call my friend. I do have a lot of associates, but I have few and far between friends. And that's my choice. And not that associates are bad. They just hadn't had the time in or the experience in to say, yeah, we ride together for real, for real. So. There's that. Now, one thing about friendship too, some friends are a little possessive. I don't like that. You know, you got them friends, when other people come around, they start being real uh, overprotective or what, I don't even know what to say. And I got this thing like, one thing I don't like, if you like me, like you like me, like love interests like me, don't ever, ever in life try to say you just want to be my friend and then later on you try to sneak kiss me or do some other extra sh creepy shit. Because now at this point you creepy. And you creepy because you done creep in having me thinking that you want to be cool but you really got the eye. And I don't need that, you know. I don't like mixed messages, you know. I don't like passive aggressive. Tell me what you want. If I'm into it, I got you. If I'm not, keep it moving. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna keep it moving. Mm -mm. I gotta do better about eating these shrimp. I know somebody's gonna tell me, but I'm already on it. spicy. You see I ain't getting nothing to drink because I'm so greedy. I was focused on eating the damn food. I'm barely making it over here. Barely legal. But I think I'm going to wrap it up. And um, I didn't really kill this crab ball. I may have a crab leg left. About three shrimp. But shout out again to Jim Seafood and West End Seafood Market. Y'all did that. Yes, y'all did today. And um, shout out to the truck driver at Food Lion who told me about Jim Seafood. And he said that he don't go nowhere else. And he goes down to Louisiana. When he's not here to do his crab rolls, he goes to Jim. And that's when he knows where to go get some good seafood from. So, both West End Seafood Market and Jim's Seafood Market were very welcoming. And um, I know I'll be going back and I know I'll be doing more crab balls and hopefully they'll work with me, you know, get me some wholesale prices and shit going on. Let your girl live. But even if they don't, I'm still supporting them, you know. You gotta support folks, especially when they do good business. It's a must. And, um, don't worry, we're going to get better with this channel, we're going to do different things, we're going to share a little more insight about where I am, who I am, what I'm into, where I'm going, as time goes along, but most importantly, we're pointing it out here, thank you for watching, make sure you hit the notifications to know whenever I post a new video, because I want to start posting more if you'll stay tuned and um, subscribe it's important and let us know what you think but most importantly most importantly if you don't do nothing else stay medicated deuces
feel free to laugh. I just had all of this crab oil with CBD in it and it just hit me <laughs> at CBD butter and I am feeling great. So look forward to my summer and spring crab rolls for as minimal as 35 bucks with CBD infused or hemp infused butter. You know, stay medicated. It's important. See you soon. What's up, y'all? This is Chef Bernardo. I had to put this at the end. I hope you enjoyed that birthday. You and Dr. Bono Coco giving away some what? New Tennessee apparel. So we need some dollars. We need some subscribers. And we need you to want this enough so we can put it in the stores, right? What do you think about it? It'll be good. Stay with me. And we like it too. Um, and we're never going to have different other variations of so stay tuned for that. But most importantly, we're going to be giving away for free. Absolutely free. Free shipping, free shipping. All you have to do is get online. One of our social media networks, at least two now, you have to subscribe to our channel. Either Anesthesia or Chef Third Eye or Filthy Gear. You have to subscribe to one of those Then you also have listed our social media content. So I'm Chef Third Eye Zone, and he is Phil, or I am Phil. And Filthy Gear as well. So go ahead and check in the descriptions for details on where you can tag us at. We're working on the project in reference to his beer gear for the top of the line. I think some of you know it's easy when you can't be in this movie. He'll be telling you more about that and also give you the information about the social media. So, uh, as you probably already know, we'll find out I have a natural gear for this beer. We'll take a couple of years to show you. I thought it would be good at the same time. So, I'll be in front of the CBD bunker and everyone will start with it. So we thank him for putting these shirts so we can get them to the people. And please read the description carefully so you can know exactly how to answer. And the first winner will be announced on my next video. Stay tuned. I'm going to try to post every single Sunday. I'm not going to start making some big damn single Sunday, but I'm going to be proud. So if you love me, help yourself. Subscribe, comment, and tell me if you feel like this time. Then we can get it in the house. Alright? Thank you so much. 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 Th